Hi, this is Dr. Victoria Nalole. I'm a research fellow at the Extractive Hub, based at the Center for Energy, Petroleum, Mineral and Policy at the University of Dundee. Here with me is Mr. Hassan Khalife from Lebanon, and he will be taking us through maritime boundaries, and he will highlight uh, some key issues there. Uh, but before he does that, I would like him to briefly introduce himself and then there afterwards, he can take us through the issue of maritime boundaries in Lebanon. Thank you, Victoria. Um, my name is Hassan Khalife. I am uh, a lawyer by profession and uh, I'm specialized in infrastructure projects and energy. Um, in reply to your question regarding maritime boundaries, uh, currently Lebanon has uh, uh, an area of uh, 850 kilometers, square kilometers approximately that is disputed with uh, Israel. Um, this remains a very uh, minimal uh, area of, out of uh, 24 uh, square kilometer, 24,000 square kilometer um, that uh, constitute uh, the offshore area for petroleum development. So Lebanon has a very critical uh, position in the region. Uh, to the north you have uh, boundaries with Syria and uh, facing it you have Cyprus and to the south you have Israel. So um, the delimitation of the exclusive economic zone uh, became a bit um, contentious, especially with Israel, which is a country that Lebanon does not recognize its presence because uh, they're still at uh, a state of war together. So um, uh, in the modern history of petroleum development in Lebanon, there were attempts to solve this um, issue, but uh, to this date there are uh, uh, third-party negotiations uh, to resolve uh, the disputed uh, area and um, between the two countries. However, all of these attempts have failed to this date. Uh, in order, now Lebanon has granted in its first licensing round one block that strands over the disputed area, which could create a lot of risk. So this is what we call political risk. And uh, it is a key issue that uh, Lebanon and policymakers work positively in order to mitigate such risk. Uh, because when we talk about political risk, we automatically talk about the cost of the investment, which will be uh, definitely exponentially uh, aggravated uh, by such risk. So in order to uh, not uh, to make such political risk affect uh, the prospects of petroleum development in Lebanon, uh, we can consider several levels of risk mitigations, uh, on the, whether on a strategic, organizational, or a contractual level. So when we talk strategic uh, uh, miti mitigation of political risk, these would include uh, how to structure the project, uh, what would be the corporate structure of the vehicle carrying out the investment, etc. On an organizational level, as we know, we have a lot of uh, multilateral insurance company for political risk like MIGA, as well as uh, other energy agency that would uh, contribute to mitigate uh, such risk. And finally, when we are talking about contractual mitigation, uh, we um, discuss here uh, specific clauses to be included in uh, exploration and production agreements or like state uh, or host state uh, legal instruments that would allow for such mitigation. And such clauses would uh, mainly include clauses related to force majeure, uh, clauses uh, related to the indemnity and as well at the minimum obligations of the party in order not to put a party in breach in case uh, it delivered lower output due to uh, disputes uh, over the maritime area where they're operating. Uh, thank you very much, Hassan. That was very impressive. But as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be a very short video. But feel free, our viewers, if you have any questions with respect to maritime boundaries, always feel free to contact Hassan. Or you can also send your questions through the Extractive Hub. Do follow our YouTube channel, do check out our website and podcast. We shall be bringing you more experts from different countries. Stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe. And don't forget to contact Hassan in case you have any issues with respect to oil, gas, mining, or even law, legal, legal issues in Lebanon. He's always there to advise and I'll be displaying his contact details. So feel free to contact him and also feel free to send us more questions with respect to maritime boundaries and we shall have him back or even bring more experts. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.